Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about the direct 4x4 awning we've got on the Land Rover at the minute, the 2 meter long one on the 110. Uh, I thought I'd do a review on that, so follow us along. And um, the next clip I'll put in now will be of me setting it up and you just get to see how quick it is to put up, it's, it's, it takes no time at all. So watch this and um, then I'll talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Yeah, so as you can see from that, it takes no time at all to put it up, does it? You know, it's, uh, it's quite easy to set up on your own. You don't need two people. Um, you, you'd manage on your own. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, at the moment, we've only got the two metre long awning from Direct 4x4. I know that looks quite good with the sides, so that's, that's definitely an option. We'll talk more about uh, the awning. So, um, the canvas itself is around 300 GSM. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Aluminium gutters along the side that's aluminium the poles are aluminium and the supports that come out to stretch it out are aluminium supports as well so yeah no well made tent um to be honest it's done us well because it's when i used to have it on the defender 90 before i put it up for a night in a forest down in thetford and um it was basically a hurricane happened during the night and i had it strapped down you know tied down to the floor the ropes gave up the ghost they didn't want to stay in the, uh, from the pegs anymore so the awnings flown up in the night uh, just completely done a full 90 degree angle and we were in our soft shell rooftop tent at the time and it just hit it right in the middle of the night and um, come down the prongs on the ends where the poles go into the gutters uh, on the end where the poles flip down right well, on those peg bits there they'd all bent and to be fair all I had to do was get me adjustable spanner out, straighten them up, and there was no other damage. So I can't say fairer than that. After we've stand in a hurricane gust, uh, to be honest, we didn't know there was going to be a storm that night. So I left it. I knew it was going to be windy, but I didn't know it was going to be as bad as it was. So I just tied it down and um, hoped for the best. But obviously, with the gust from the wind, you know, the hurricane in the night, it just blew it straight up, and. Um, for it to survive that without any major damage apart from a couple of bent prongs that were sorted out with a adjustable spanner can't really say fairer than that for the price to be honest you're looking at under 200 pound for a uh, two meter long awning by 2.5 meters out 
so you've got a little bit longer coming out than you have on the width so it's good in that sense uh, a little bit more surface area so um, yeah can't fault it I've got nothing I can really say bad again about it to be honest another thing I will say as I put it away several times really wet and I've completely forgot about it for a couple of weeks and it's just sat in there in the cover soaked through for two weeks at least and so I've got it out a couple of times and set it up there was no mold there was no marking anywhere I mean obviously you saw from when I set it up just in the video before in the clip you, you can't see any mold on the on the canvas at all so you know it's obviously got a good quality canvas that's anti-mold and mold proof as you may call it yeah it's been faultless so after airing it out after two weeks and of it being soaked through no problems after that at all so it's been good to us for the money you can't really fault it at all i think you can get them in a range of colors now you can get a darker canvas now uh, you don't have to get the sort of the desert color that we've got you can get a slightly darker browner color uh, as well uh, I'm sure on their website they've got a few color options anyway so yeah definitely a good quality awning would definitely recommend it can't fault it we've got got nothing I can say about it that I could possibly fault it so definitely worth checking it out go to their website uh, I'll leave a, di a link in the description to um, have a look at their website and get where you can get the awning from and check it out see what you think that concludes my uh, review of the awning I can't really fault it at all to be honest uh, I, I wish I only got the 2.5 meter awning but then at the end of the day it was on a Defender 90 so it's gone from a short wheelbase vehicle to a long base so it's going to be a sh slightly shorter area compared to the vehicle so there's that's not really a problem so yeah the, at least the, you've got options depending on the size of your vehicle so happy with that um, like I say just check the description below let me know in the comments what you think about the awning yourself if you have got one I'll see you on the next video